Capricorns are changing their emotional boundaries when it comes to their social life and their reputation. So I find a lot of this is that Capricorns used to be very materialistic before Pluto entered into Capricorn. And I'm not saying you don't like fine things. I know you got the diamonds and the Mercedes and you got the house and all that stuff. But now Capricorns, the new co conscious Capricorns, they're going after a different market now. They're getting in the health food industry. They're, they're, they have a different role in the world. Um, they're now here to be the leaders of light instead of just the leaders alone. So I think that you're getting comfortable with what you will do in public and what you won't do in public, where you belong in public, what feels right, what's your neighborhood, what's your clique, what's your group, what's your tribe, <clears throat> what's your slogan, what's your campaign, what's your advertising strategy, like what feels right the way you position yourself in the world, who are your enemies, who are your friends, and what's in between. So I think that's where the emotional boundaries are for you. What this does is this raises your self-love and personal dreams. Like now you can really love yourself when you finally say, no, I'm not going there or sorry, we don't, we don't, we don't do that here. Or, no shoes, no shirt, no service. As soon as you are clear on the nose, then suddenly the yeses become so much more powerful and your heart can just skyrocket like a beanstalk into, you know, whatever you call joy in heaven. So by defining your boundaries in life, you thrive in your heart with Uranus and Taurus. Now, what this leads to is a faded um, intellectual idea or strategy. So I am predicting right here, folks, on this show, you are likely going to, Capricorns are going to come up with a brilliant idea that they have for the new age. I believe they're going to bring a brilliant idea to the new age. The foremothers and forefather Capricorns are. There's those old rockety Capricorns that will go down with the ship. Some of those do. But most of them, I think, are going to bring something new and fantastic. So this allows you to really bring the genius on by defining your emotional boundaries in the world. I do believe that. Now, as far as the inner self is concerned, you've got to change the story about your faith in yourself. It, you, By the way, Pluto went through your sign. If you didn't fail at least three times, then I got bad news for you. Shift's about to hit the fan before Pluto leaves your sign. Every Capricorn has been cut off at the knees at least twice. And I chose knees for a reason. You rule the knees. Okay. So you have to change the story of your inner faith. You haven't had bad luck. You, the world wasn't out to get you. God doesn't dislike you. You simply had a lot of karma build up, like plaque, spiritual plaque over lifetimes. It had to be cleared. So you cannot tell yourself the same story with your faith. When you open up and realize that you have a new faith inside yourself of who you are, then you can really open up to your career and your legacy and your self-discipline potential, like really be there for yourself in a way you haven't because you're now, now you're believing to have faith in yourself. That's the story. It's serious joy, joy, joy.